Trying to find the right government job is hard enough already, but it's made even harder if you do not have your job filter properly set up on usajobs.gov. Let's go over how to create a strong job filter. First, while signed on, type in your location. You can easily put your city or state, but what I think is even better is when you put your zip code. And you can type in multiple zip codes if you want. When you do this, the default is a 25 mile radius, but maybe you're willing to drive a lot further than that. Or maybe you don't want to go 25 miles. Whatever the case is, you can change it. Believe it or not, there are people that are willing to drive hours and hours for the right job. So if you want to change this, click on more filters and the first bar under location, you'll be able to change your radius up to 200 miles. And if you want to go over 200 miles, the best thing you should probably do is enter in another zip code. Also under the more filters tab, you will see an option that offers telework. This means that some days you could be working from home, other days you could be working from your house. But not every job announcement actually specifies that you're able to telework, even though you might be able to telework. So there's no telling. I would leave this option alone. Don't click anything. Because if you do, you might eliminate some job opportunities that would work for you. Okay, so another option here is to click only show remote work. Now I would do this only if you absolutely see yourself working from home and you do not want to step a foot into the office ever. If that's the case, if that kind of fits your job search parameter, then go ahead and click this, but you have to be aware of a couple of things. First thing, it's incredibly competitive. So you have people all over the country and even across the world, because we have US citizens in Germany, Italy, Spain, and they're trying to get the remote work option also. So you have people, you have thousands of people that are competing for this. So you really need to, you know, make sure you're resilient to, to receive those rejections, but also have a very strong resume so that you can compete with some of these people. Another thing is the majority of these positions, if you wanna work remote, that's fine, but you have to do it within the United States. So you cannot leave. If you are trying to do remote work outside of the United States, then the Department of State has to get involved. You need to have a approval letter filled out. It's a whole nother process. It's a lengthy process. A lot of times they don't want people doing this. Okay, so if you keep scrolling down, Another two areas to keep in mind is the security clearance and the position risk area. You don't have to click anything here, but what I want you to be aware of is that when you're, when you're choosing a top secret job, if that's part of the requirements, you're going, to, you're going to add on time to that hiring process. So for one example is the CIA. The CIA is not a two to three month process. Oh, no, 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 no. The CIA is a 12 to 18 month process. It takes a lot longer. So when you're dealing with high sensitivity or high risk and top secret, when you're dealing with those two categories, it's gonna be a while. So if you're willing to wait, then, then fine. I mean, go ahead and apply for them, but just understand what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so let's go back to the top filter tab. Under hiring path, you need to select all the paths that are available to you. Now, if you don't know which ones you're eligible for, you need to find out. You need to research it and find out exactly what you're eligible for. And if you have no idea, or if you research everything and you found nothing that you're qualified for, that means that you have to click open to the public. You're left with open to the public. That's all you can compete for. And if that's the case, it's okay, because half the government jobs allow anybody to compete as long as you're a US citizen. And another thing to keep in mind is that if you have somebody that was coming out of the Peace Corps, they have their own preference or a veteran has their own preference. But if you're more qualified as an open to public candidate, a lot of times you could get the interview over them. So keep applying. Do not let that discourage you. After this, you get to the salary and grade section. I personally do not mess with that salary bar. I go straight after the grade. So you need to know if you're getting into the government, you need to know what your range is. And that could be GS-11 to GS-13 or GS-9 to GS-12 or whatever it is you select it. Next, we have the department and agency section where you can select exactly the agency that you want to apply with. Okay, so I don't really recommend touching this area either. There could be an agency that you, you love, like say it's the Department of Commerce, like you want to get into the Department of Commerce. That's, that's the whole reason you're in this thing. But you don't need to wait months and years for the dream position to open up. What I would encourage you to do is to get into the government, whatever agency that may be. Now, some are, are better than others, but get in and gain your competitive status. Three years competitive service, and now you can jump around. You can apply to different agencies. 
So it's a lot easier that way than just waiting. I was talking to this one fellow the other day that just wanted to be a special agent. <laughs> no matter what I told him, he's like, man, I want to be a special agent. I want to, I say, I know you want to be a special agent. And I hope, you know, I hope you get that. But how about getting in on the admin side? Or how about becoming a project manager? Let's do that a couple of years and then we can pivot and get you that special agent position. But, you know, he was just laser focused on special agent, special agent, special agent. Okay, now we're going to go to the job series section. And this is a very important section. You need to know exactly what jobs you're eligible and qualified for and how they match up with your experience. There are hundreds of them. You can scroll down there. You can spend a whole day, a whole weekend just reading the OPM job series handbook. So you need to have an idea. Once you understand what it is that you qualify for, select that. And you can select multiple job series. It doesn't have to be just one. But keep in mind that if you're selecting multiple ones, you probably need separate resumes to go along with that. You do not want to apply for a budget analyst position with your human resource resume. That's not the best idea. The only caveat to this is you can sometimes use a base resume as long as the job series is under the job series family. So for example, under the 1700 education family, you'll see job series like 1701, 1702, 1712. And these are all kind of closely related. So with a 1700 series resume, you could find yourself eligible and qualified for multiple job series under that family. But try not to get too crazy and start clicking everything because you really need to have a more targeted approach when you're doing the job seeking. Next thing you wanna do is make sure you click save, save this search. This will save the search and you will never have to go back and click these filters again. Then you can click to be reminded, either daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. You can be reminded as new jobs open up, as new jobs are posted that meet your filter criteria. So if you have in there 0301-0343 and tomorrow there's 10 new jobs that pop up in your location for these job series, you're gonna be sent an email to remind you hey, you need to start applying for these jobs, basically. So if you need a reminder like that, make sure you, you sign up for that as well. Okay, so now that you have a strong job search filter, the next thing you need to know is how do you apply to these jobs? And if you need help on how to apply to these job announcements, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.